and welcome to Fox Sports News. My name is Matilda Hedval. Ricky Ponting has denied he put his own interest ahead of teams during Australia's loss in the fourth test against India. Ponting has avoided suspension, but along with all of his players, he's been fined for a slow overrate in Nagpur. Ricky Ponting has copped plenty for putting overrates ahead of a possible victory in Nagpur. As a test skipper, he could have been suspended had he not taken action. The thing I think I'm most disappointed about is that there seems to be this inference out there that I've put myself totally ahead of the team. Um, anybody that knows me or knows the way I... Andrew Simons will return to the Australian team on Friday in the All-Star 2020 game in Brisbane. Simons has been recalled after completing a Cricket Australia welfare process following his gone fishing episode. The Queensland all-rounder all was stood down from the national team after failing to attend a team meeting during the Bangladesh series in Darwin. A, um, a confidential process, which um, none of you will probably find anything out about, but um, it's something that I've, that I've done and I've, and I've drawn a lot out of it and I've, I'm happy with where I'm at. Um, and, and believe it or not, I've actually enjoyed it. Simon hasn't starred with the bat in domestic cricket, but Cricket Australia boss James Sutherland says he remains one of the best players in the world. If I make another mistake, it's not it's not going to be um, it's not going to be a pretty ending. So, and I realise that. Um, so I've got to be careful, but at the same time, I've still got to be the player and the person that I play my best cricket doing. You know. The Australian team will play an all-star team picked by the Australian Cricketers Association. The Wallabies have been treated to a royal reception in England, meeting with the Queen ahead of their test match against the English this weekend. The Wallabies were also taken on a guided tour of Windsor Castle and for some lucky players, including Hooker Adam Fryer, it was the second time they had the honour of meeting with the Queen. Uh, but, uh, you know, a great honour, uh, not just for me, but for all of us to, to be uh, in the presence of the Queen at Windsor Castle. It's something that, you know, we'll all always remember it was a, a great night. The occasion was all the more special for fly half James O'Connor following his test debut against Italy a few days earlier. Up and Australia and she said uh, she was a bit surprised at the English one but she's uh, going for them this weekend she's hoping for a win so you got to make sure we, she doesn't get that. To football and the A-League is losing one of its most popular players with Sydney FC captain Tony Popovich set to announce his retirement today. The former Socceroo has been troubled by back and hamstring troubles this season and Fox Sports News can reveal his retirement will take effect immediately. The 35-year-old only made his comeback from injury last weekend. He says his body can no longer meet the demands of A-League football. Three Brisbane Broncos players questioned by police in relation to a sexual assault will not face charges. Police have decided there's not enough evidence to prosecute, but the Broncos have hit the players with heavy fines for bringing the club into disrepute. After two months of much speculation, the findings of 12 police investigators were finally handed down. The uh, outcome of that investigation is that our officers have found insufficient evidence to charge any person in relation to the allegations made. Brisbane players Carmichael Hunt, Sam Thiday and Dragons bound Darius Boyd legally in the clear. But the Broncos handed down its own penalty for bringing the club into disrepute. And I've advised the players that at least be fined $20,000 uh, each. Um, they're on their final warning. Coming up on Fox Sports News, lots more sport as Fiji's Eel gets them home over the Irish. But at what cost? Yeah.